No, but can you talk a bit about your character and his sort of role in this group and the, the uniform dynamic? All right, well, I, I play Officer Frank Moto, um, who is, before he was a, he's a ex-mixed martial arts fighter and turned police officer who has great ambition to become detective. He has a 10-year-old son that he wants to make proud and show you know be a role model too so that's something that is like his through line through everything he does everything he does is trying to get that promotion um, and so he's a uniform cop but he's really good at what he does he's like the muscle of the group so I'm with Backstrom a lot kind of like as his bodyguard somewhat um, so if there's any physical stuff that needs to happen Moto is the guy that they use uh, he also you know he's kind of like the heart of the group because he's so honest you know he's honest he's good intentions uh he's somebody that you can count on and uh i think people might gravitate towards him because you know he's not like the sharpest out of everybody in the world but he has like earnest intentions and he learns and he wants to learn he wants to get better so what's blocking him from becoming a detective well i think at the towards the beginning of the season we see that uh, kind of like simple type of thing more where, you know, maybe he doesn't get things as quickly as everyone else. Uh, and so he's growing. So throughout the season, he grows and he starts to actually find clues and things that actually solve some of the crimes. So he has to prove himself because, you know, when he first starts, he's, he's really green. And then he starts to get better. So he's constantly working on that. Were you a fan of The Office, and if so, um, what is it like seeing Rain play such a different character? Well, I was a huge fan of The Office so much that I've seen every episode of it. Um, and, and you know, the, one of the biggest excitements that I have for this show is that I am excited to see what the world gets to see that I see every day, and that's Rain in a completely different light than I've ever seen him in. Like, he's unrecognizable. If you're a fan of The Office and Dwight Schrute, like you will not see that character at all. It's like it almost didn't even exist anymore because this is so rich and new and different. And, you know, I personally feel like he will probably get some acknowledgement from playing this character, like high acknowledgement. Can you talk a little bit about working with Hart Hansen? He obviously is a, a name on the network because of yeah. and everything. Um, what do you see that he's brought to the show that people might be, you know, be able to recognize for some of his other work and what's brand new about it? Well, first of all, working with Hart for me, like he's he's like the best showrunner I've ever had and I've been in this business 13 years. Like he's so humble and he's so warm and he's so open and available to listen and to be there. And if you contact him he gets right back to you and so that's just like a great boss to work for like when you don't have to feel intimidated or worried or scared when it's kind of like your friend you know and he he brings that and so that makes me more comfortable it makes me want to do even a better job and he's you know he's a brilliant writer he he's made these characters who are very specific and they're very like colorful and likable and you know he's made this uh procedural something that's actually like fun and enjoyable to watch because usually procedurals are boring to me but this is like character driven and it's like i don't know it's different you know i i i, I think he did a great job of this like I, you know i i think people may like it as much or more than they do bones so is his mma background relevant to the way that he does his job? well uh, there's only one episode that we uh, have done so far where you actually get to see some of that. There was hand-to-hand -hand combat in, in one particular episode where you get to see Moto in action, you know. Um, and that was really fun. That was really fun to be able to do that. And hopefully, if we get a season two, I'll get to do more of that because I haven't been able to do that before. When I did it, it was sweet. Did you get really intense training for 
that because you said that you can mix martial arts backgrounds. So yeah. I assume he fights in a really specific way. Yeah. Well, I, we we did have uh, trainers and we had we had people here to teach me, and, and at first, you know, <laughs> it was a little it was a little tough. But you know, after after a while of rehearsal and getting it over and over again. Then I got to, you know, I got to be proud of myself. Like when I watched it, I was like, "Damn, that's me." <laughs> I, you know, so I, I, that that was that was fun. But yeah, I did I did need some training for that. I think I looked good. Maybe that's why they haven't done it again. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I gotta let me know. <laughs> I'll show you on my phone later. Name? Huh? Did he have a fighter name from his other days? That's a great question. If he did. I don't know what it is, but Moto sounds like a badass name. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe that he probably went by that. I like that name. It sounds like a sounds like somebody that can kick ass, right? I think so. <laughs>